Hello and welcome to this brand new Let's Play for Call of Cthulhu Dark Corners of the Earth. This, for those of you who have never played this, or seen it, is a first person shooter. A horror first person shooter. And is noted for being quite different in the way it does things. For one, there's absolutely no heads up display, so you get no ammo indicator, no health indication, no radar to help you. So, all of it is done on on-screen hints and prompts, if that makes sense. It's like you see blurred, you have blurred vision, um, you start shaking, you can't aim straight. All indicators you're getting damaged, you need health, you need to use the first aid packs on yourself. Which also take a long time. Which means you're being chased by something nasty, you can't just up and heal yourself. There's no bandages heal everything in this game, instantly anyway. So yeah, that makes a difference. Um, this game is probably not, like horror-wise, there's nothing you've s seen before. Apart from perhaps Eternal Darkness, which is along the similar sort of style. It's very got a lot of sanity effects. As you start hallucinating, you see things, again, your vision goes askew. Lots of things like this, which makes it really good fun to play. And it really is quite creepy. So hopefully you get a sense of that when, when we go through this, for this Let's Play. Um, I can show you all what's in this. You know what continue new game and load do. Options, very simple stuff. Controllers, video. We don't get a, a resolution saying this why it's um, pants. Not that you know when I upload a video, but uh, brightness is higher than it suggests because usually when uploaded the videos go dark. And after some feedback from the Alice videos, I've decided to crank it up a bit. Uh, game options, subtitles going to be on. Um, obviously, occasionally they go a bit weird, as in you'll see out of nowhere just some subtitles come up, but. You know, can't help that. It's better to have them on, just in case you can't hear it. And game tips. Don't really need those on, to be honest. Although, actually, yeah, might as well. It might add to it. You'll see what I'm, what it's prompting me to do. Uh, there's nothing in there yet. And so, without further ado, we should start the game. Uh, there's no point doing a Boy Scout. We don't want it easy. And... I did unlock these, but it wouldn't let me access them anymore. Not that I'm going to do it on the hard one anyway. But here we go. Let's make it interesting, shall we? Now, at my end, I can fully see. My last case opened me a new fear. A real fear. A fear of myself, of what I am, and of what I've always been. All that I was is now lost. Hope, purpose, pleasure, all meaningless. I now walk in the shadows between worlds, and it is there I have finally glimpsed upon what lives in the dark corners of the earth. Seriously now, who would give them the, the opportunity to hang themselves when they're all insane? That's just careless. <laughs> And that would be Jack's diary, the man we were playing. Ooh. No joker though. That's a shame. Might thought he'd be there. Never know. And here we go, this is the thing about game tips, this is what comes up a lot when um, something prompts you. So, I thought I'd turn them on, be able to see, you know, how it'd be if you played the game yourself, so. Anyway. Ah, six and a half years ago. 
the man we saw there was in the future. Nice and insane. This is a fresh, fresh Jack now. There's his diary. It was a dark and stormy night. And this is where the story begins, as all good stories do, in the rain. Robert, this had better be good. What's the beef? Yeah, Sorry, Rob, what's the beef? We had to call. This fellow will only talk to you. Name's Victor Holt. Don't know any. Victor? He's the leader of this weird cult that moved in here a few months back. Got about 20 followers. They've been causing trouble all over town. Stealing, going through folks' trash. Hanging around outside people's homes at all hours. No one ever presses charges, though. They're a screwy bunch. They've got the local scare. So tonight, we were just passing, you know, doing the normal rounds when we heard gunshots fired from their property. Gunshots? Hang on there. No one said anything about gunshots. Who have we got out here? Yeah, just me, watched. Nichols, and a few new recruits. Well, that's just great. Lead the way, Robert. I better check out this crazy My game. god, your head is hollow! Oh! Wait, that, wait that's not spit. Yeah. We'll leave that little detail out. Basically, this is... This is how the game will look. As you can see, absolutely no heads-up spray. But, like I said, if we push I, this brings up inventory. This is our hero. Oh dear. But this is where you can uh, heal separate points of yourself if you get injured. As you can see, left leg, right leg, left arm, torso, right arm, and head. Uh, different things to be uh, for how serious the wound are and what you need. Antidote, obviously, you've been poisoned in the head, you'd use an antidote. Uh, you'd, I guess you broke your head, you'd use bandages, or you cut your head, you know. Uh, splint is for a broken leg, things like this. Broken arms. That's to stitch yourself up. You get impaled by something. Um, you can't see it now. But that's morphine. That can uh, heal you straight away until you can like sort yourself out later. But also makes you, I believe, hallucinate after a while. Uh, you can't. Again, we can't check these out yet. This watch tells you the in-game time and the diary. Oh, it does show you. There we go. Uh, warning: narcotic and the analgesic class. Helps block pain, but should be used with extreme caution. Game time. And the journal. Anyway, shall we? Yeah, he's waiting for me. Let's talk to this lad. How you doing, kid? Good, sir. Is it true what they say about you? Depends on what they're saying. That you've cracked cases where there was no evidence. <laughs> you shouldn't believe everything you hear. Uh, right. Yep, I just bribed a few judges and problem solved. No, that was, um, it was a hint towards that our hero is psychic. Uh, not a great hint, but a hint nonetheless. Jack, Officer Nichols will yep. brief you at the top. Be careful. What's taking you so long? Something. Evening, Jack. Glad you could join the freak show. How's it looking, Henry? I don't like this one bit, Jack. Check the alley on the right. Victor Holt's over there in the shadows. He's waiting for you. If you can't see, there is a man in the shadows over there. Nope, but we've got you covered. You better take it slowly, though. They're a bit twitchy. Do you see the shadow in the window? Directly behind his shoulder there? Ah, uh, he's gone in the way. Not on. There. Straight ahead. We're being watched. Whoa! And this is the sort of visual effect we'll see. Unfortunately, we just lost the cop. Obviously, Jack's, uh, every time Jack sees something um, that will freak him out, he will panic. Scream, scream will flash, that sort of thing. Obviously, there's a firefight starting. So, let's just dive inside, it's probably safer. Okay. Here we go. Okay. Whew. Heartbeat, you can, might be able to hear it. Dunk, 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 dunk. Oh no, Philip's dead. Oh no. It looks like an eye, but the rest of the painting has no real shape. No. Basically, using the down arrow, uh, Jack will comment on anything that's important or of some relevance. So if we go to this painting, using W for S. This blasphemous image makes me 